This episode of The Modern Rogue is sponsored by The Walking Dead No Man's Land. It is the official game of AMC's The Walking Dead. Yeah, pick it up for your mobile devices. Do you remember young Sherlock Holmes? Yes. Rami Tap? What? No, I guess not. Uh, <laughs> is that a word? Yeah, that was the bad guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And the song was like Rami Tap. I don't, I don't Rami Tap. That. I haven't, I literally Rami haven't tap. seen it in like 30 years. Rami Tap. Shabum, shabum. Rami Tap. You don't remember? It was like. Nope. It was like hmm. nope. Did he have a blowgun? <laughs> yes, it was literally the fundamental plot of the movie. How could you not? The modern road makes a blowgun. All right, so have you ever shot a blowgun? No. Uh, wait, maybe. When my dad was on a business trip, he came back from Indonesia with this amazing, ornate blowgun. I mean, it looked like a dragon, and it had these awesome tendrils coming off of its snout and all that stuff. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Right? It sounds cursed. Let's make one that's not cursed. Okay, yes. How to make a non-cursed blowgun. Yes. Now, what are blowguns used for? To kill. What? I, see, I don't think that's the case. I, I think this is like the uh, no? the, the shuriken, shuriken? Shuriken? Oh, yeah, like yeah. a distraction thing yeah, or something like that? Yeah, it's a weapon of harassment yeah. or, or of poison darts. I imagine that they were probably mostly poison darts because no matter what you have, you're not going to be able to blow something hard enough that it will go through someone's skull, most likely. But right? it is an awesome weapon from the shadows. Like, imagine if you have three or four different sentries in an area and somebody comes in and you don't know where anyone is, they're in the dark. This is practically silent, right? Yeah, it's just a little puff, and this one's about five foot, which seems to be the standard that I found online. Yeah. But you see them in movies and in other media and stuff like that, where they're as short as like this. I kind of want to try both. Yeah, both. let's get started. I, I'm yeah. assuming all you need is a PVC pipe. That's it, really. And I, if you I, don't have a PVC pipe, I assume that these were made from like a, like bamboo. All you got to do is core out some bamboo. Or like, you got yeah, one. like a reed or something like that. Now these, every time I see them, they're PVC pipes. Uh, some people uh, online use them with metal pipes and mm -hmm. they do a little bit of like uh, uh, machining or whatever and uh, drill holes in it and get really elaborate and with play it. Music, and play and then, music. And you're yeah. like, dude, that's a recorder. That's they, not even a blowgun. They summon the whirlwind and it takes them onto the other map. <laughs> <laughs> Big question is what the diameter of the pipe is. I'm gonna try a half inch one. Yeah, these two long ones. One? That one's a three quarters inch. Man, that so. seems huge. I know, right? I, I know that, that the blowgun that my dad brought back from Indonesia uh, is super, super tiny, very, very small. I wonder if this takes more breath or what the volume to speed ratio is. The blowgun itself, this is pretty much it. We'll come back to this. All the real craft work comes in crafting your dart. We're gonna use two and a half inch nails. Okay. 8D, I don't know what D means. So, uh, uh, diameter. <laughs> these are eight penny nails. What does that mean? That they are smaller than 20 penny nails. He doesn't know. I No, I do, because the, the 20 penny nails are the ones that I shove, that I put up my nose. Oh, like okay. I guess not, you do not, have an intimate not, relationship. Yeah, with me. no, I know a thing about nails. The etymology of a penny nail is a bit hazy, but an article on ancient nails from 1915 details the customs and cultures surrounding nail sales in England during the Middle Ages, more specifically from documents out of London dating back to 1477. When sold in large volumes, nails were named by the price it would sell for, and as such, eight penny nails would be the nails for which a hundred could be bought for eight pence. As time grew on, the penny measurement became more associated with length than volume. The D in an 8D penny does not, however, stand for diameter as may be commonly misconstrued. In fact, it is an abbreviation for pence in a pre-decimalization currency known as LSD. Obviously, there's no D in pence that was derived from a Roman currency denomination of denarius and Clearly, nail naming conventions are a mess. How do we make some kind of feathering so that it creates a valve okay. so that your breath yes. blows it forward? So yeah, I was calling it the fletching, but that's incorrect. That's yeah, the, yeah. the feathers. Fletching is on the back of, a, of, an, of, arrow. of an arrow. Right. right. We're taking a, a little post-it note. We're going to cut a square out of it. We're going to cut just like a quarter out of this post-it note. We gotta wrap it into a cone. So I would imagine you would do something like that. Yeah, you're gonna need a little bit more narrow though. Oh, tighter cone? Yeah, tighter cone. Let's try making it wider than a square. Yeah. Oh, good. Something yeah. like that. That looks good. Right. Okay. You're, you're gonna do this, cause. <laughs> okay. All right. So I've got I've got uh, I got a cone. That's great. We yeah. Do, and we need a piece uh, yeah. of tape. Put a little piece of tape on there to uh, hold it together. Is that what it's? For? That's what it's for. To yeah. Hold it together. I know, right? Okay. It doesn't say that anywhere <laughs> on here. <laughs> it so. doesn't say adhesive of tapes. Whole things together. Hold it, yeah. Benefits, not features. That's, yeah. that's salesmanship 101. Sure. Well, I assume this goes through. Yeah, but first, you let's go ahead and. 
Uh, put a little Loctite on the head of the nail. Loctite, is this super glue? Yeah, this is oh, just some it. super glue. I see. Let's see if we can. Did I throw the box away? I'm wondering if I threw the box away. Let's see, okay. <laughs> You're reading so, the To puncture nozzle. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. <laughs> Eureka. And then what? <laughs> we're just we're just pushing this through, yeah. So it sticks in there. Yeah. Why do you have colorful friendship beads? Uh, those are counterweights. According, <laughs> did you cut your finger? <laughs> There's blood. <laughs> we have blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roll the clock back, Brant. No. Roll it back. No. I don't know how effective these are. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how necessary they are. But uh, they do look kind of cool. Yeah. And apparently they act as counterweights, putting the perler beads across the nail here. But first, so, so we want to put a little bit more glue in here. Okay, but I'm assuming that the goal of putting the beads on is so that the, the tip part stays up because right now it is imbalanced in that all the weight is in front. So as you do it, it's going to want to turn down I assume. Seems reasonable. And then, uh, but here, yeah, let's, now, let's now do these, it. we could probably glue these on here, but these are a little, you gotta get ones that fit better. Or you could choose from these and force them, force them on with some of the uh, long nose pliers. Let's just try it without anything, see what happens. So you wanna try the, the wider, the three quarters inch PVC first. Right, well, well, and in this case, it's too wide here. You want it to fit in there just right, where it won't slide all the way through, but where it won't and be too obstructed. And nothing's getting crinkled. Yes. And we should get some targets. Are we gonna shoot it at Mr. Robot? Uh, wait, no. <laughs> Dress pants McRobot face? Hey man, you leave Rami Malik alone. <laughs> or are we going to shoot a child? Maybe it's an alien. Maybe it's a gray. <laughs> Anything but a child? Yeah. Uh, well, here. Let's just say it's an invasive gray wanting to probe well, well, various there's, things. There's no way this is gonna pierce that, right? I don't know. I've seen some examples of it being very capable of piercing something like this. I. Hard plastic? The video that I saw was piercing pennies. Okay, well let's start with a, with an easier target then. Just right there? Yeah. All right. All right. Ready? Do we want goggles? Seems like we'd want goggles. Do we? Okay, I'll go get them. <laughs> All right, for the first time ever, you just kind of skipped ahead to the, but that's fine. <laughs> what? Right? Well, that was very effective. <laughs> I mean, this is super soft, but. Well, yeah, and it's literally designed to pierce, but, but and we should point out, we did sharpen this nail. Here, try it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, now here's the question. Do you want to try hitting the child? Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, okay. Absolutely, I do. But, but what happens if, when it bounces off? This is pretty sharp. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, okay. Wait, well, don't hang. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I... it's not a child, it's an alien. It's a gray. See, I told you it wouldn't. I told you, this is a bad idea, mm. bad idea. Mm. All right, we're gonna work on this, though. Beep, 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 beep. We're gonna kill that thing. Okay, well let's let's go in stages because right now we have a yes on soft target, no on yeah, hard alien, <laughs> which is my favorite porno. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll try it on wood okay. this time. That is definitely going to work. You think? Yep. Oh, robot pantsman. God damn it. No. What the fuck was that? No. Not cool. I had no eye protection and we just saw that bounce right the off of faces. I'm sorry. That was way not cool. You know what a good thing to do when you get like really upset and fired up over something is? Take a break and play some video games. Awesome video games. Yes. Like The Walking Dead No Man's Land. Yes, it, it is actually way more in depth than you would think you could get out of a mobile game. And it hits on so many different vectors. First of all, we love turn-based strategy games. Yes. Uh, be, they make time just vanish. It also has uh, city building aspects. It has uh, the random reinforcements. You can team up and join guilds. You can raid other players, so there's a huge huge multiplayer component. Yep, they got uh, player versus player combat. They even have bi-weekly events for their new survival mode called The Distance. And every Monday, a new episode comes out directly integrated with the previous night's episode of the actual series. That is fascinating. Can you imagine having something like that when we were kids where it's like, we're watching Captain Planet or something like that? <laughs> 
And then we're like, that just happened last night. Yeah, and then we <laughs> jump right into the game. We can play and get different perspectives on the episode that we just watched. Well, and that's the thing is there's plenty of games that do turn-based strategy and all the different world building stuff that we talked about. But if you are a fan of the show, there's nothing better than this. You get to live the adventure along with them. Every episode the next day, you get to that content integrated into the game experience. Yeah. Episode five of season eight just came out. Again, it all runs concurrently to the episode you're just seeing. And if you download it by December 19th, you unlock Negan for free. Walking Dead No Man's Land is available right now in the Apple App Store and on Google Play. It's free. Go get it now. Put it in your life. I'm telling you, man, this game is going to take over the freaking world. If it hasn't already. No, I'm sorry. No. I was pretending to be a walker. I got you. No, I know what you're doing. Do you think any Texas Rangers became walkers? We should warn them about safety precautions now. Can we just go into that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starting now, everything they're about to see is way more dangerous than we thought. Yeah. Way more dangerous. Don't do this. Don't do what I did. And also check the laws at your state and local level. You might not be allowed to have a blowgun. So in other words, it's about to get good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering if we're going to get more pressure from this? Well, let's try it with the little one first, right? Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! Very nice. All right, here, give that a try. Oh my gosh, I that's expected this good... to be kind of like a long build, but no. it's super effective just like a minute out I of the gate. You... Oh. Uh, so you gotta hit it straight on, because I think part of the reason it's not landing is because it's coming in kind of at an angle. Hmm. You wanna try sharpening it? Uh, sure, yeah. So for the sharpening, we're just using a file. Forgive me for asking, uh, what is your blow technique that you're doing? A quick, hard puff? Yeah, remember when you would fake blowing a loogie into a kid's, the back of the head, where you could go, you go, <gasps> Oh, sure. You know, yeah. you, you block with your tongue, mm -hmm. and then you build up pressure, and when your tongue releases, gotcha. it gives a percussive, like, burst, mm -hmm. and goes flying out. Try it with that. Okay. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I just got lucky on mine. Let, let me see if you're I'm doing something again. different. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I guess I just got lucky that one time. You wanna try making a couple of other ones with the sharper, longer, pokier bits? Uh, yeah. Cause like, look at how rounded that is right now, right? Oh yeah, it gets dull really quickly. Yeah, huh? just by virtue of being used. So here, let's make a few. Okay, I was just doing like that. Yeah, no, see that, uh, that's what you don't wanna do. If you're filing the tip, you're gonna get a, a sharp oh, edge of the very sure. thing, but you're you're making it more like a house. So what you wanna do is, is start way lower. So I'm actually starting, pretty much flat to work it down so gotcha. it gets to a, to a steeper angle. And it's amazing how fast the bulk of it comes off. See, yeah. look how much sharper all of that is already. Oh yeah, okay. This one has no counterweights. Okay. And it's just held together with tape. No glue. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hey. Super effective. You wanna try it for distance now? The only reason I can think of to put the counterweights on there is if they can't fly very far, because we already, it's pretty precise. The accuracy sure. is pretty yeah. pretty t on target. Mm -hmm. Let's get what we were doing before. We were doing it from right there. So just shy of six feet. Yeah. Right, so, and then let's go farther over that way. Right. Okay, and here is just shy of 11 feet. Okay, so let, let's basically double it. Doubling it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Why are you doing this to me? What was his name? Dress Pants Robot Dress Pants head? Robot Headman. Headman. All right, so this is the one with no glue, no counterbalance, just tape and post it and yep. nail. I think we're gonna see a dip, probably. Okay. So I'm gonna aim kind of for the top part, not quite to the robot head, but okay. just above the circle. Yeah. Dude, that is super precise. That was really I mean, precise. It didn't puncture, but yeah. I think maybe that's because we're using it a second time. Let's file Without, it down and try oh, it again. Yeah, because you can feel how the uh, tip has dulled a little bit. Yeah. Yes! That's from 12 <laughs> feet away, dude! You, you want to give it a try? Uh, yeah. All right, here, I'll, I'll sharpen it again for you. Oh, thank you. That's the thing, man, is these get real... Oh my gosh, feel how... Is it in there pretty good? Yeah, really deep. It's amazing how simple it is to aim. It's very, very intuitive. Ah, oh, almost. God, it rockets out. It really does. Sharpening. Hmm. Yeah, try the other one.
I don't think it needs a counterweight. I think it just needs to be even sharper. <laughs> well, Do you want to try it on the longer well, one? Yeah, let, let, me, let me see if it's the fault of the sharpness or not. Sure, maybe there's yeah. something to my technique yeah. that you're not doing. Oh yeah, no. You saw it kind of twirl as it went over. I wonder if that's the why well, we need the, the why balancing. we need the perler beats. Well, let's try them. All right, so here we'll just put top it off with the uh, with some glue. Are you thinking? Yeah, or a smaller. No, okay. I'll just do glue. And then maybe then, yeah, top it off. Here's my theory. To be honest, mm -hmm. I don't think it's a counterweight thing. I think it's a pressure and force thing. And I think that when we switch to this. We're gonna see a lot more pressure. I wouldn't be surprised if the full long tube actually pierced that entire wood plank. That's what I'm thinking. I'm wondering if this one is too long. It's gonna be a little difficult to demonstrate. You know here. what, actually, I regret that I used that glue because I'm pretty sure yeah. this will work with just scotch tape again. So test with the beads and... Huh. How do you think that flew? It seemed a little floppy. Let's try it yeah. again and just get a look at it. I okay. don't really care if it makes it through or not. One, two, three. I mean, that looked it was super a, it was, straight, It was right? a good straight fly, yeah. Although I will say, I think the extra weight didn't help because it kind of dipped down. Okay, yeah. And that would give you more men momentum. But here, let's. you want to try it with the longer one now? Yeah, let's do that. I'm wondering if with this half inch pipe, I'm not sure that we're going to have enough cone because it's just so narrow. I don't know, this looks an awful lot like darts I've seen. Yeah? Okay. I actually feel pretty good about this. Let's try the okay. super long half inch. Okay. Because here's the thing, not only is there more length, but because it's thinner, my lungs are gonna create more pressure. Right. Because that takes like more lungness to pro propel it forward. Mm -hmm. This is more like a shotgun and this is more like a sniper rifle. Oh yeah, it's like you've removed the choke. Correct, and, and it just blasts sure. out. So that's gonna have less accuracy. Yeah. Whereas this guy feels like will be more accurate it's and have more force. Maximum lungness. Okay, max lung. I am max lung. I can hold my breath for a long time. <laughs> he was the shittiest member of the Legion of the Superheroes. <laughs> Hmm. There was a delay on that. Here, let's do the one without the beads. Yep. You just want to give it enough room where it fills the chamber yeah. and you can build up pressure behind it. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> that yeah. was harsh. Look how deep that's in. I, I think that might have gone all the way through. <gasps> It went all the way through. Okay, so the beads are garbage. The you beads think? don't. Yeah, you have not yet pierced yeah, this. That's true. I guarantee you will with this, and I'm not even going to resharpen this at all. Okay. Super accurate because it's pretty much touching the target. Yeah, it was <laughs> like we hit dead center, right? Mm -hmm. And plus, you have a longer distance for you to line up your sight on. Yeah. Hold dead <laughs> solid, perfect, perfect right bullseye. Right where I was aiming. Uh, right oh, where oh, I was bet, aiming. I bet you want you you want feel. Yeah, his nipples are hard. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it definitely dress it went, pants robot. It, it, <laughs> dress pants you robot. Cad. Here, let's uh, let's try this. Give you a bit more area for you to blow into. Okay, got it. So that it, it condenses down. Might do nothing. Do you think we can kill the alien? Oh, we gotta kill the alien. Just right into this. Straight up gray. That's definitely not a child. It it's has, definitely an alien. It has uh, come into your home. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to hit it in the chest because I okay. worry about what happens if it bounces sure. and it's sharp. Yeah, yeah. And what we've put on there, it's just a, like a male to male, three quarter inch to half inch adapter. Oh, got it. It just adapts a bigger pipe to a smaller pipe. Yes. And you just plug that right on there mm -hmm. and it's designed to fit snugly. <laughs> That's the last time you butt probed me, alien. I got you. Dun 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 dun. Oh! <laughs> oh! Like, like dun 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 dun. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. This is far simpler than I ever dared think. I know. All right, that needs to live there. Man, I feel like now we just go for distance, right? Oh, you just, uh, did you just get inappropriately touched just, by the, by you the just alien? Goosed me there <laughs> in my butt. I think you're great. <laughs> Not at this. I just think you're great in general. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. All right, you want to take on the gray? Yeah. All right, here you go. Goggle up. All right. Okay. Dude, where are you aiming for? Right in the face. Okay. All right. right in his dirty alien face. <laughs> 
Oh, okay, that bounced weird. All right, try it again in the chest. The head is a curved surface, oh, which I sure. imagine is harder to puncture. Sharpen it up a little bit. Yeah. All right, take out his other heart. Man, hmm. it just bounces right off. You want to try it just as is? Yeah, I'm, here, I'm just going to hit the wood target and see how easy even a bent one penetrates. I'm going to try to hit that X. Oh, man, it really matters how sharp they are. Yeah. Let me try Do you time. think the adapter uh, is helping? I don't, actually. OK. So I'm going to try it. removing it. Let's try one with more of the feathering on there. OK. Let's do a really long, yeah. really narrow cone. OK, so for this one, instead of that square, I'm actually pulling out like nearly half of this whole thing. So it's more like a stealth bomber yeah. looking thing. And then when I spin it, I'm going to spin it real tight. See, look how tight that is. Oh, yeah, that's good. There we go. In fact, let's try it without even tape. Yeah? I don't even think we need tape. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to trim. Man, we're just doing less and less of the things that we're supposed to do. Oh, that's perfect. See, that seems like it's going to be that's good. That's a good fit, yeah. You want to try for distance on this one? I think we got a really good one. Okay, yeah. I mean, that one looks pretty good. Let's. Uh, this will have to be our ultimate test. Yeah. Sorry, gray alien. Ugh, not today. Oh, are we just going for the wood? Yeah, no, there's no way we're going to kill an alien from that distance. So this is 12 feet. Okay. So I'll hold this here if you want to come around to the other side. So that's 11. That's 12. So that's 24 feet. 24 feet. I think it's going to hit, but... I can't imagine that the force is going to be enough at double the length to actually penetrate. I You're probably right. We've got a great dart in there. Yeah, okay. But uh, yeah, I'm not seeing it penetrate. It'll it'll hit. I think it'll hit accurately. Now we're so far, I think there's going to be significant amounts so of So you're going to have to raise, right? yeah. I'm going to aim for Dress Pants Robot Man's head. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going for that top corner there. Okay, please. okay. Of right. the board? Yeah. I got you. All right, ready? Okay, go. <laughs> I don't even think we need tape. We don't need tape or glue or any of that. <laughs> so maybe maybe you do need the glue. <laughs> Let's sharpen it. Yeah, I, I got a pretty good feeling. Okay. Oh, 24 feet. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Let's see, do you think it penetrated all the way through? No, that was a good one though. This is the farthest. Look at this. Yeah. Let, let me pull this off. <laughs> Not only did it penetrate, but it penetrated harder than any of the other ones from the farthest away. Number one, definitely deadly. You Let's think so? This. Certainly you can lose an eye. This one, I feel like if you put some craft into it, you could penetrate a brain. Uh, yeah, I think so. Like technique, that's the other thing. We had bad technique. Mm -hmm. We had ramshackle darts. Mm -hmm. We never did anything to improve or change yeah. any of our blowguns. But I guess in general, longer was more accurate and more powerful. Yes. And it definitely mattered to sharpen the dart and having a long cone definitely helped. Yeah, what fascinates me about this is how quickly you can manufacture a dangerous weapon. Yeah. I mean, really, with our idiocy aside, you could throw one of these together in a couple of minutes. Yes, yeah. uh, five minutes tops. If you've got uh, if you've got the supplies, you can come up with something with your own alien fighting weapon. I'm gonna say this much, man. Don't do this. Yeah, don't do it. Don't don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Shoot don't shoot at people. Do it. Don't, don't don't do it without eyewear. I mean, unless don't don't, don't do it. Oh, oh, unless there are gray aliens coming for you. Unless in there are gray case, aliens. Take out in, the gray aliens. In that case, take them all out. Show extreme prejudice. Those <laughs> sons of. <laughs> It also merits mentioning that oh, this could be illegal. This in your could area. be illegal in your area. Uh, and I got to tell you, the counterweights, all that stuff, I don't think any of that really matters. <sighs> I, I think as long as you've got a long, narrow yeah. cone on there, you're good to go. If some of our viewers uh, have uh, some other techniques, I would like to hear about them. Like maybe if they know why the perler beads actually are effective, I would really love to hear yeah, about Yeah, man, it. post them in the comments. Now. Let's go out and hunt the most dangerous game, Brian. <laughs> no, let's let's go on the street and try to make tips with our sweet didgeridoos. <laughs> <laughs>